Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing the aggregate of isolon. The isolon aggregate is very simple in term, where it has the isolon nodes formed as a cluster, and on the back end it has the infiband switches. It has two switches for redundancy. These infiband switches are used for the communication between the nodes, one node to other node, and these switches are called as the infra cluster. Communication switches, and on the front end we have the network switches. These switches will be used to transfer the data between isolon to the user. On coming to the ports, isolon has four front end ports and two back end ports. These four front end ports are divided into two sections, where it can have two one gig and it can have two ten gig or two. 40 gigs depend upon the model of the node. So let me repeat again: the isolon architecture is very simple in terms where it has network switches in front as a front end, and it has the isolon nodes combined as a cluster. And on the back end, it has the internal internet network layer that is infiband switches. So these infiband switches are used to communicate between one node to other node. So any Kind of communication between any node will go through this infiband switch and will reach the other node. So we'll deep dive into the isolon hardware part in the next video.